Good morning, everybody. This is Nurse Pavel, and I just finished my 12 hour shift. So, I already mentioned I'm a nurse, and this is my uh, new video series. And I want to tell you something this morning. Um, I have a uh, few insight after this night shift, and I decided that. On the top of those um, overall information about the nursing uh, job and the field and the hospital or something, I decided that um, I'll share videos and I call that your numbers and um, your facts. So, uh, know your numbers and you'll be the better in this field. Uh, why say that? Um, us, you might be a new grad nurse. I work with a lot of them and I remember them asking a lot of questions. So I, I remember one night, I'm not gonna tell it's here, uh, it wasn't here actually, um, but I didn't mention uh, that I've been working in three, three countries and two continents and the numbers of healthcare facilities. So if I, I don't want to endorse anybody or I don't want to break any HIPAA regulation. So if I'm telling you that something's happened somewhere, uh, may happen in Europe, may happen in Poland, may happen in the United Kingdom, or may happen in the United States. Or it just uh, may be totally a uh, fictional situation. So, just as it's a fictional situation, so new grad nurse telling me that uh, she cannot mix the normal saline, 0 0.9 NA NACL, uh, with uh, IV antibiotics, which I tell that actually it's very simple, but just a reminder, you can mix the normal saline with everything, including blood which on opposite, the blood is only product that can be mixed with the normal saline, nothing else, no exceptions, no exceptions. Remember that once for all. Uh, I gonna um, include a separate video about the blood administration because so important topics. Uh, so remember, normal saline is good for every IV fluid. And uh, when we talk about some useful information, uh, as you probably see, there is a little tree over there and not much leaves left. So this is the this part of the season that a lot of people catching up a respiratory infection. And on the other hand, if somebody's coming to the hospital and got any kind of procedure, including anesthesia, we give him them IS, incentive spirometer, which just help them breathe. Uh, but my advice for you will be, I'm, uh, I have um, some way to explain things to my patients. And um, so avoid the medical jargon, avoid the um, medical language and put them in a way they understand. Also, I like to explain to them, if I can, usually we have a whiteboard in the room and I'm getting my black marker and uh, writing diagram or something or something to explain to them. But actually about the proper breathing technique is very simple. I get a simple gloves. That's a simple one we use on every floor and tell them the people lungs look like upside down tree, which is basically uh, with the two branches and uh, let the air sac at, at the end, I call them, we know that's alveoli, just like the leaves on the tree. So they understand, they see everybody seeing the trees and they, they know them. Now, when we telling them how to use IS, we say, take the breath in, and we telling them, hold it for one second, at least one second, right? But a lot of them is not doing that. They don't see the reason for doing that. So I'm taking my upside down tree or I'm taking your uh, uh, example of the people lungs and telling them, this is tidal volume, which is about 0 0.5 liters, which a whole lungs hold capacity up to five liters, right? So I'm telling that this is a tidal volume. 
but you're not pushing enough air to the lower part of the lungs. What's happened? If people don't breathe enough and don't push the air to the lower part of the lungs, they have a tendency to collapse. And what's happened? It's warm, it's moist, and people can develop pneumonia, right? So what do we do? We're giving them incense spirometer and let's tell them hold for one second. So we basically asking them to breathe in and hold. When you hold, I'll show them one more time. When you hold, you open those alveoli, I mean those air sacs at the end, uh, which is the, like a, the leaves on the tree. Why? That means when you open that air can get through and those little germs, bacteria are disturbed. So they're not growing over there. So why I'm telling that to my, all my patients? Because in the season time like this one, everybody is at risk. Patients, families, and even us, nurses. So this is the best way, not, not using gloves, but take a breath, deep breath through the nose, hold it for one, two, three seconds, and take complete breath out through the closed lips like a blowing candles. Complete when you feel the diaphragm pushing all the air out. So it's taking the carbon dioxide out. With fresh air through it, hold it, blow out completely. Use it, and since I started using that, I'm telling you, I was, I'm using that already for a few years. And before that, I was catching the respiratory infection. I'm sorry, they put on a purpose. I'm sorry, I'm working in the hospital, but I don't want to show the name of the hospital. So nobody said, mm, that's the name of the hospital. I really don't want to do it. Just protect everybody uh, privacy. Not every hospital want to be included in the social media. So I'm not doing that. Um, so, and about the social media and putting something on a social media, I think I'll, I'll share another video. But anyway, do it for yourself, for your patients, for the families. And as I mentioned, I'm doing that for a few years ago, uh, started a few years ago and um, I don't have any, I had in the past, I don't have any breathing problems. So I hope you like this explanation. I hope you explain to the patient because when they see it and they can do it for themselves, when you showing them, they will remember much, much longer and they will know why you asking them to hold IS, hold the breath on IS for one second. It's better than for two hours. But if somebody just get out of the operation room, they may not hold it for more than one second. But once one second is really good start for that one. So thank you for watching. Sorry for the little, um, not the bright light because it's morning. It's uh, 7.43 at the morning. I hope uh, you're gonna watch more of my videos and please remember, click the surprise button. So, um, it's morning. <laughs> click the subscribe button at the bottom. And sorry for that, I'm a little tired, but I just wanna um, show you what you can do with the single gloves to explain and give some good education to the patients. And patients love it, actually. Okay, thank you and have a great day. Bye.